comic book people of the world, let's talk about Velvet Collar issue number two. This was written and drawn by Brian Knight, Byron Power, and Dave Davenport. Major spoilers ahead, I'm warning you now in advance. If you're not aware of this, I already did a review on issue number one. Check it out when you want to get a chance, it's part of my YouTube playlist. This comic book series is centering around five different men who all worked for the Rent Man website, and the aftermath as to how each of them were very much reliant on this website for the means of income, and how they've adapted. Many of the characters are also modeled after real life people. Like Daddy, who's modeled after Scott Reynolds. We have J.D. Daniels making an appearance in this issue as well. Billy, a.k.a. Will Foster. We have Abel Ray and Rika, a.k.a. Ricochet. But we also have Storm Wild, who's also a father. His daughter, Gail, may play an important role in this series. The reason I say that is because at first, this story looks to be about these former rentmen and how they're trying to deal with everything, but an even bigger story is opening up. Turns out the taking down of rentmen was part of a bigger conspiracy, where we see the spies have been planted in the society of sex workers for many years. Turns out Storm is a former worker for the organization known as NAMA, and he's being reactivated to be brought back into the field, and his four buddies are coming along with him because they're honestly being blackmailed into it. There are a few different twists and turns that I was totally not expecting out of this issue. I won't give away anything else other than that except for the fact that you can't really trust anyone, and it looks like these five guys are going to be on a much larger adventure in future issues. Major kudos for having JD Daniels in this, if only for a cameo scene, but you know what? I was really liking it. There is a lot of narrative that you have to pay attention to, and some of which is relating to real life events. Although obviously it's going into a much different direction where it comes to espionage and spies. Or is that fake? Hmm. I am excited about future issues because the groundwork was already laid down for Gail, who may have some sort of Scooby-Doo investigative skills under her belt, but to seeing her in the future issues would be kind of awesome. But I will end this comic book review at this point. If you're interested in reading this comic book, you want to go to Velvet Collar Comic com and you can download a version from them. But with that, thank you guys for joining me in this video. Be sure to check out my Patreon site, check out my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stay on. See you guys later. I'm in love with a hero. Issues look like it may be drawn by a different artist. That could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. But you know what? I'm still going to be on board with this because, like I said, it is a great comic.